Let's take down this guy who refers to himself as Blue. I don't see exactly what he's made of. If he's made of anything. Oh, then stanky ass. The whatever that means. Oh yeah, I saw the repel on. <laughs> I forgot about that. Man, you could go through that water fast. Anyway, welcome back everybody to more Let's Play Pokemon Gold version. This is your host, BMJ4106. And well, it's time. Yo, Jamie Beaky! How's it going? Looks like you're on a roll. The gym leader is a guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you've got. So, yep. You get to battle the guy who uh, became the champion at one point in the last game. And while well, I'll say this, start with an electric or ice Pokemon. I'll just warn you that right now because this battle is rough and you want to start off strong. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. Hmm. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms at Johto? Heh, <laughs> Johto's gyms must be pretty pathetic then. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you are good or not by battling you right now. Ready, Johto boy? Johto boy? Oh, you dumber ass! I'm gonna kill you! So here we go! It's your rival from the first game! Blue! Or as I call him, Dumbrass. He's got six Pokemon. And hey, guess what? It's his team from last game! And notice the levels! I'm finally under leveled again! Yep. If you thought everything else was a pushover till now, this last gym leader tells you to wake the fuck up, because it's about to get hard again. And, well, he's your rival for the first game and a former champion. He doesn't fuck around. Trust me, he doesn't. I had to make sure my door is shut. <laughs> but yeah, he will not fuck around. He has all of his Pokemon, minus a starter, of course, because you're assuming he doesn't have a starter right now from the previous game. And trust me, it's no walk in the park, this one. Oh. I mean, his highest level Pokemon is 60, but still. Woo, this battle's rough. And we still have another area after this, so you can expect to get even harder. It's gonna get tougher than this. So, yeah. If you need to grind more, if this battle gives you trouble, do so. Because, well, doing everything in Canada was not enough to get you prepared for this. I can say that right now. Doing everything you can in Kano cannot prepare you enough. Oh, and he also knows how to spam full restores as a champion. God damn it! Oh, the champions really do know how to spam their full restores. Even the former ones. Oh. Yep. Oh, it's, it's a nice kind of catharsis, getting able, being able to battle your rival from the last game as he's a gym leader. It's kind of your last challenge before going to the absolute final challenge. Oh my god, how many full restores do you have? You're wasting them on a friggin' executor! You should waste, you should use them on your strongest Pokemon! Actually... Does he have a Pokemon at level 60? Now that I think about it, I don't think so. Because, well... Yeah. It's his whole team from the first game, minus his starter. And his starter comes in for the other Pokemon that would have come in, instead of his starter had, you know... Yeah. He basically picks a starter that's strong as your type, and then it has a grass, and he has the other two types equivalent of the strongest of that gen. So he is a pretty freaking good, capable team. I swear, if Rhydon's your strongest Pokemon, that's just pathetic. I'm sorry, that's just pathetic if he's your strongest. All right, Quagsire. Time for you to fight and have some fun. Does he have a little 60? I guess not. Unless it's his last one. Let's see. He still has his fire, his water, and one that my rival also has. How can I forget that one? That might be his strongest. Otherwise, his strongest Pokemon might actually be a level 58. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Alakazam. All right, Umbreon. Screw him over. Now that I have a dark type, you're... Strong Psychic type is no match for me. Oh, it's your weakest. Okay, so it's Fire, Water, Grass Pokemon. So are the strongest on his team, level 58. Okay, I kind of thought he had one of the... 
Mm. I finally realized why they gave all those Alexanders Reflect, because they have low defense. They do that to counter their low defense by making it so they can, you know, not get hurt nearly as badly by Ghost-type moves. Since Dark is special, while Psychic can't hurt Dark-types, it still takes work with Dark-types to kill the, uh, Kadabra, Alakazam, Abra line. Oh, this is how we're gonna be? I'm just gonna will you down slowly? Great. I love that. Oh, you make this so fun. So, this battle's gonna go one of two ways. Either you're gonna die, as your recover won't do enough, or we're gonna have to waste a turn doing Reflect, thinking I might use Shadow Ball. Or Shadow Ball is gonna kill you if you don't use Reflect to keep trying to recover. I'm sorry, dude. That's check and mate. You can't win this anymore. You just have to suffer the consequences of challenging me, you bitch! You tried hard, and you failed even harder. Hmm. There we go. A critical hit would have finished you off anyway. That's what I wanted. He's got two left. Gyarados, yes, I remember you. Alright. Lantern, go again. I might keep you out. I'll see. No, I might as well keep you out. You're perfect for the, both the last two. And there goes the Reflect. Not that I need it anymore. Heh, or need to worry about it, I mean. So yeah, if you kept your Elite Four, your team used against the Elite Four, and trained through all of Kanto, you should be strong enough to take this down. Oh, God! Oh, great, you learned from Lance, huh? God damn you and Hyper Beam! Oh, shit! That hurt a lot more than I was expecting. Not gonna lie. That hurt a lot. And while well, his last Pokemon that you didn't actually get to see in my Pokemon Blue run because I took the grass starter, Arcanine! Dun dun dun! The strongest non legendary slash pseudo legendary Pokemon up to this time, Arcanine. Oh, this thing's a monster! Ow! Oh, new move, Extreme Speed! I believe it has priority over Quick Attack, even. It's a strong Quick Attack. But, uh... Yeah, you don't have a lot of uses of it. PP of 5. Still a very nice move to have. Woo! They give it a critical hit. But yeah, Arcanine is strong. If you didn't hear me say it before, Arcanine is the most powerful non-legendary linked Pokemon, or non-pseudo-legendary, in the series up to this point. And will be that way for a good while to come. It's re it's referred to as the legendary Pokemon for crying out loud. I don't know why, but it is. What? How the heck did I lose to you? Ugh. All right. Here, take this. It's Earth Badge. By the way, I'm the new leader of Team Rocket. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if you took over Team Rocket just like you took over this gym? Ah, uh, he is enough of an asshole. All right. I was wrong. You're the real deal. You are a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Too bad you can't read challenge gym leaders. That'd be nice. But nope. You're stuck with just fighting them once. Man, you are truly tough. That was a heck of an inspirational battle. It brought tears to my eyes. Good. I'm glad you thought so. Also, does this list winning, winning trainers? Yes! Yes! And well, now we have all the eight badges. Oh, yeah. That's right. I should go to Professor Oak first. I forgot. He did want to see me before I, uh... He did want to see me once I got all the badges. Which I guess I should do that, huh? In that case, let's do that. So, since I have all the badges, Oak might have something to give me. It better actually be something useful. Wow, that's excellent. You collected the badges of Jims and Kanto. Well done. I was writing my assessment of you. Tell you what, Bose. I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. We well, can make an exception in your case, Blows. Go up to Indigo Plateau. You can reach Mount Silver from there. How's your Pokedex coming? Oh, God, don't look at my Pokedex. You're gonna say the same thing you said before. Yeah, they grow or use stones. Got it. I hope you'll come visit again. Fuck you, Oak. Get away from me. Anyway, there we go. We can finally access the last area of the game, Mount Silver. Where our true endgame lies. And well, it's time to explore that and see what lies within.
time to find the Hidden Underground Elite Four. It's even better than the other Elite Four. Yeah, you wish it was that, don't you? There is something in there, though. A strong-ass Pokemon. Maybe multiple. I'm gonna keep you in the dark if you don't know. But, we're going. Right now! We're going right now! Damn straight. I'm going right now. We're gonna check the area out. It's the last location I need to unlock to fly to. And I want it. So I'm gonna go for it. So here. The Pokemon League! The Victory Road entrance. If you ever need to get back to Victory Road, Kano, just come to here. And well... Oh yeah, I can battle Beth now! Hey, Beth! Long time no see! <laughs> Bet you didn't expect to see me come through like this. See, that's an easy way to actually get back to uh, this part of Victory Road. Or get back to the route that lead to Victory Road. I waited for you! I know you did. Alright, Anthony also wants to battle me again for some reason, but I'm only going to battle you. I can also battle the, uh, Meganium Typhlosion for Alligator Trainer in Viridian again, but, eh, you've already seen it once. Since it's on the way, I figured I may as well. Why not? Oh no, Agility! You threw a bunch of knives at me and your speed went up against a really, really slow Pokemon. I'm intimidated. Very, very intimidated. And well, because of all the trainers we fought, I just realized there's one Pokemon we won't be able to run into. So I'll tell you now. I know it's where I found Gligar. So I'm already aware of where it is. Oh, and our tools of war. But it's pretty powerful regardless. But it's somewhat cool. It's a Pokemon referred to as Skarmory. a steel and flying type. And I can't find it in this game because it's exclusive to silver. Anyway, let me just get into a battle. Which, well... You have an area of grass and a lot of tough wild Pokemon. So you want to grind outside trainer battles? This isn't a bad area to do it. I mean, you've got the strongest wild Pokemon in the game around here. So, you know, take advantage of it if you wish. I would if I were you. So, yeah. If you need to grind and don't want to battle the Elite Four over and over again due to its difficulty, if you're having a tough time with it, this is a great place to go. It's your best area remaining to do so. And while coming to this area, we'll be back in Johto. So I can actually fly to and from here in Johto. Which is very helpful. Makes it a lot easier to connect everything together. Oh, there we go. Earthquake killed you one hit. I should have just done that. Oh, shit. Right. Skarmory's a steel flying type. It's found the location where I found Gligar. I know what it is. Route 45. But in case you need it. Here's where you can find Skarmory and Silver. And just like that, I'm officially done with the exclusive Pokemon tellings. Man, I really thought we would have run- Oh my god! They're everywhere! Holy shit! Whoa! Did not expect to find an evolved one in here! Damn! But yep, because of how tough this place is, they don't normally let people come in here. So you know you're an exceptional case. You're one of the few individuals that gets to experience what it's like in the toughest place to train in the whole game! And God, do they have Pokemon all over. See? Good experience grinding! Great experience grinding, actually. Oh, let me go up there. Oh my God, the account rate in this place is so high! Why? Ah. Uh, damn it! Oh, you make me want to battle you. Oh. I really didn't want to, but now I want to because your level, your experience you give off is so nice. So yeah, you get pretty decent experience in here. If you really don't want to battle... Oh yeah, by the way, Raikou, Entei, and Suicune never come in Mount Silver. Wouldn't that be a pain in the ass? They're weaker than what's in here, level-wise. That would suck. That would suck horribly. Oh, wait, can't go that way. My Pokemon level's still high enough to avoid all of them, but, you know, I don't want to waste repels yet. I still get good experience in this place. But yeah, this is your last cavern and maze area of the game. So one of that cave you got after the Elite Four for the first game. Expect it to be annoying to navigate, and well, strong Pokemon lie within. 
If you think it's the worst there is, oh no, we haven't even gotten to the cave portion yet. It gets worse once we get to the actual cave itself. Ow! You fucker! You know what you get? A slush bomb! It's strong enough to kill you at this point. Not quite as strong as my earthquake, but it will do. It will do. Isn't there an item that increases ground-based attacks? I'm looking for that. I'm wondering where it was, anyway. And well, here's the last Pokemon Center. Trainers who seek power and climb Mount Silver despite its many dangers. With their trusted Pokemon, they must be able to they can go anywhere. How many people come through here? And why are you here? You must be really strong. Nurse Joy's employed, so I'm sure she's fine. She knows how to take care of Pokemon. I'm sure that means she knows how to put them down, too. So I don't doubt her skills. But you, old lady, I am somewhat doubting you. No offense. I just doubt you have the talent to take care of these Pokemon and protect yourself. She must quietly be the best trainer around here. Quietly be that one. Oh well. You need at least Waterfall to get through this place, by the way. You're gonna need Cut, Surf, and Waterfall. I don't think you need Strength, though. Which is nice. Oh dear, you found me. Please don't tell anyone about me. I'll give you this for keeping my secret, please. TM47. What is that, Outrage or something? Maybe? It's tough being a top celebrity. Everywhere I go, people chase me. I just want to be left alone. Hmm. Don't tell me it's like extreme speed or something. I don't know. Well, I got TM47 now. Oh, Steel Wing again. Okay, thank you. Damn, the celebrity's strong, too, to hide in here. Well, I guess celebrities got to get away from the crazy folks as well. Don't worry. I get it, crazy lady. Another rare candy! Hmm, you know, maybe if I need to, I can start using rare candies, finally. I found, like, all of them we're going to find. So, I can't buy any more. Man, wouldn't that be broken if you could buy rare candies? It really would. And by the way, there's no market here. So, yeah, don't think there's a place to go stock up on healing items or anything. You're gonna have to leave to do that. You're gonna have to go up Victory Road to get to the Pokemon League if you want to do that, or fly to it. But if you don't have the HM fly with you, well, you can't do that either. Is there an item over there? They just have a lot of places for you to go battle things in this place. So, seriously, it's a great place to go around and fight a bunch of other trainers. Really best advice I got for you. Come battle trainers here. And that's the fun times. This is where the fun times are. Hmm. There's definitely something hidden here. Why else do they make this area? A full restore! I can spam it now! Yes! Maybe I should pull those out. Eh, not yet. I'm not going to train in here for long. I'm just going to show it off for a bit. I'm going to fly back to another area in Johto. Anyway, here's the Mount Silver Cave. It's probably a safe assumption you're going to want all of your uh, HMs on you. And notice the music's different than most other caves. That's how you know you're in for hell, bitch. Basically, it's here is your true victory road of the game. Well, the last one was just wild Pokemon and then your rival. This one has a lot of shit in it. An actual maze for you to explore. And well, actually feels like a worthy challenge. Also, there's a rare Pokemon to find in here too. I don't mean legendary, I mean rare. One that's hard to come by. Then the wild can only be found in here. In Crystal, you can actually buy this Pokemon in the game corner. You can sell it on, I believe. But well, we gotta get through the freaking ugly mess that is the weak sauce first. But yep. It's like they expect you to be in like the 50s of levels when you come through here. I wouldn't say so, consider what's at the end, but... Here's the rare Pokemon! By the way, it's weak as hell, too. Larvitar! It's a rock type for now. But eventually, it evolves into a Pseudo-legendary rock and dark type. And let me tell you. This thing grows to be pretty freaking strong. 
So, yep. This is the rare Pokemon you find in here. If you want to find this guy and then build him on your main team after a while, just for fun, you can do that. As for me... Well, I'm just going to see if I catch him. If I can do that, I'll consider my trip through this a success. And then I'm just going to grind... And then I'm just going to repel my way to the rest of this cave later on. Well, I shouldn't hit him with anything, because chances are... He'll escape. He won't get out of the ball. Oh, crap. I was still looking up Slugma. Anyway, we will never find its evolution to this game. That's the only chance you have to run into it in gold and silver. So I'm just going to tell you what it's like now. Like I said, it's Lava Tart, a rock type. Eventually evolves to a rock and dark type. It evolves into its second evolution, Pupitar, Puppetar or whatever, which is basically like a cocoon shell thing at level 30. It evolves into its final form, Tyranitar, at level 55. And Tyranitar is a well-known beast amongst the Pokemon games. I definitely know how strong he can be. Oh no, he lowered my defense greatly. Look, just go back to sleep, kid. I just want to catch you, okay? Oh, so let me catch you and then I'll use a super pal, explore the cave a little more. And then I'll leave. And then I'm going to go back to Johto by a bunch of Ultra Balls, because I'm about to be in for a marathon of hell. Oh, you're not going to make this easy, are you? Yeah, you may want to bring a weak Pokemon with you, so you can actually try to catch this thing legitimately, because otherwise, you're not going to be able to catch it. I don't have anything that's weak enough to not kill it. I do possibly have Gloom using Acid, but other than that... I could try that. That's the most I could do, though. Other than that, I can't... Oh, God! Sandstorm! Oh, fuck! Maybe that'll help you. I don't know. Anyway, let's give it one try. Please don't die. Oh, look at that! Uh-oh. Well, can't do anything more now, because now I might actually kill him. Son of a bitch! Why did you have to lower his defense? Oh, whatever. At least your HP's lower, so it'll be easier to catch now, especially if I put you to sleep. Thankfully, I have a speed advantage. That sandstorm was obnoxious, though. So, yep, you got to see sandstorm in action, finally. It takes out about one-eighth of your health every turn. Unless you're a rock, ground, or steel type. Then you're perfectly fine! And yeah, it affects the user as well. So, you know, make sure you give it to a Pokemon who can survive the said sandstorm. That's all I can tell you. Be someone who can survive the sandstorm. And well, since I'm not going to be exploring this cave too much for Pokemon, we're going to be leaving and coming back after we get the rest of the legendaries, but... Oh, come on! Just get caught, please! I wish I could attack you without the fear of killing you, but I know if I hit you one more time because of your lower defense, you will die. Damn, I should have just used Cut, but no. Yeah, his catch rate isn't very high either, so you do have to work on him a little bit, even if you do damage him and put him to sleep. I just can't waste the Master Ball. Oh my god, if I waste the Master Ball, I'm ending this episode and starting over. <laughs> I will battle my rival again. I do not- I will battle Blue again. I don't care. I'm not leaving without this fucker. I want him, damn it! Hmm, maybe I should- Do I still have a level ball? Then again, level ball is about just as effective as the, uh... Damn it! It's about just as effective as the, uh, Ultra Ball right now. Because I imagine the way the, uh... Actually, no, it's more effective. You know what? Fuck it. The way the level ball works makes it the best ball in the game, probably. If you're at the same or a lower level than the Pokemon you're using it on, it's about as effective as a Pokeball. If your level's above it, it's as effective as an Ultra Ball. If you're twice as high as a level as it, it's twice as effective as an Ultra Ball. If you're four times its level, it's four times as effective as an Ultra Ball. And while that, I caught Larvitar. Lava yes! So here's Larvitar, the rock skin Pokemon. It feeds on soil. After it has eaten a large mountain, it will fall asleep so it can grow. 
So yep, get the save level 55 and you can get the awesome ass Tyranitar. I'm telling you, it's a beast. Alright then. Do I have an escape rope on me? No. Oh, I do. Well, I can just use a super repel because I have more of those. I'll be sure to buy more of those later. Anyway, yep. This cave is fun and mysterious, all right. There's a lot to find in here. Let's go explore this room a bit. I'm not going to go all the way to the end of the cave this episode. I just want to show you what's around. There's a lot of items to find, so, you know. Look around. There's some items that will help you survive. Although, you may not want to waste them on the wild Pokemon. But then again, you don't get a rest area between... The entrance and the exit. Oh, good, an Ultra Ball. Why do they give you that here? I don't know. Either way. And then you have more cave. There are stronger Pokemon in here. Oh, God. But anyway, that's all I want to show you for now. Where are they going to be in this water area eventually? But for now, I'm not going to worry about it. For now, I'm going to fly back to Ecrutique. Because, uh... Oh, boy. Yeah, by the way, I hope you're ready for a small-ish marathon next episode. Because next episode's going to be an odd one. And I'm probably going to hate it because it's probably going to take hours for me to actually record it. God damn it. Oh... I might need to level up a little bit. I'll have to see. I know I'm going to grind at least one more time before the end of the game, just in case. Not a lot, though. So anyway, come back next time, and I'm going to go hunt all the dogs down. And, well, if push comes to shove, I might use my Master Ball if need be. I'd rather use it on these guys than the last legendary in the sea in the uh, World Islands. Oh, I gotta give somebody Whirlpool too. We'll worry about that later, but next time is gonna be a weird episode. It's basically gonna be like a clip show of me and my efforts of catching all the legendary dogs in the hopes that they don't run away. I'll have to remind you the method of how to do it by tracking them down, and well, basically it's going to be hell. Also, I need to do the last of the uh weekly character items on the Friday or whatever, so I'll do that too. And then we'll go dog hunting. Either way, I need to buy a lot of Ultra Balls and hope for the love of God that I am lucky as hell.